Hi everyone, it's Adrian Leah. I wanted to film an accumulated haul video. In the title, I am going to put that there's witchy items in the video in case someone randomly comes across my video and they may be interested in watching it. So before I get started, I wanted to show my knitted hooded infinity scarf that I made. So this is a Red Heart yarn and the other project that I'll be showing is also a Red Heart yarn. This one is Hunter Green and I used the garter stitch for this. My other project is a pair of dragon scale gloves. I love dragon scale gloves and I've been making a couple pairs lately. So, this is in Candied. I actually made this one for my mom. I thought that she would like the colors. And I love that the colors aren't too bright, but they're vibrant. So I do have other yarn in this video, so I'll show that right now. I saw this yarn on Cynthia's channel, which is I Am She. She also has another channel which is Cynthia Curtin, her name. But as soon as I saw it, I loved it. So I ordered it off of Michael's. This is the Charisma Yarn in Dragonfly. I got three of these. I did get some stuff for my dad because he likes gifting me stuff and my mom too, but I did mention my dad first because um, my dad did send me stuff a little before and then my mom sent me stuff recently. So I got the Fire 7 that has Alexa with 8 gigabytes. I did get a case. It's simple. I, I love the simplicity of it. And then it's... It's not a fancy tablet, but I do love the simplicity of the tablet too. I mainly use it for when I'm reading on Kindle or Audible or if I'm reading something in general about say herbs or other witchy things. I am an herbalist so I do read a lot about herbs too. So before I get into other stuff I have been reading two books. So the second one is the sequel and I just finished that one today. I'll show the audible picture. So the first one is The Heart of the Fae. This is, well, these are novels by Emma Hamm. And I'm reading, going to read her other books. It's a retelling of Beauty and the Beast. It's not very close to it. It's more of a branch off of it and it goes its, in its own direction. So, if you like Celtic stories, then um, Emma Hamm is a great storyteller for you. The sequel is Veins of Magic for this one. So that's the 
cover of it. I also have the Philly Tarot coming in. I'll do a separate video for that one since it's going to be a special deck for me in my collection because I was born in Philly. So when I heard that there's there was a Philly deck that launched this year, I was really excited so I put an order in. What's nice about the tablet is that it goes with my bag, it just slips in, or any bag in general, but it just feels um, I don't want to say, I guess maybe sophisticated or um, classy maybe. But not that much, but I do have a bag that is technically considered witchy, but under the title I wasn't really considering this as the witchy item, one of the witchy items, but it's Harry Potter and it's a Slytherin purse. So it just goes in here. It's a nice size. I would say it's it just reaches a medium for me because I usually use large bags but this is a, a nice size for me too so I did get mine off of eBay it wasn't the full price because the person that was selling it used the bag and the long strap fell off, so the shoulder strap, and they showed a picture of where the incision was for the strap. So it's underneath the short strap, but it doesn't take away from any of the detail. And I wasn't planning on using the long one anyway, so I figured I would pay half the price for um, a bag that looks almost new so I was super content with that purchase so um, I'll show the things that my mom sent me so she sent me this jewelry hanging case and she sent me that because she sent me some jewelry. So I did take the tags off of the earrings, but when she's out and she's shopping, she gets me stuff. So it's nice that I get tidbits from different places. So some of it's from Wallflower, then there's uh, Bass, and Carol. So those are the jewelry places, or the jewelry brands that she got. So this is a set of bracelets. I actually like these colors. I don't think I'll wear all of them at once, but I like these two the most. So she got me a couple pair of earrings. Uh, 
owls. Sorry. <laughs> And I do get gifted owls a lot, so that's nice. Turtles. I think she was preparing me for the warmer seasons too. I usually like to buy stuff mainly for the colder seasons. Butterflies. Another pair of owls. So, the, this is one of the shades of blue that I really like. And I think it's nice. It's not something that I would get on my own, but it's nice when someone picks out something for you and combined with it maybe being sentimental it makes it more special and you'd want to wear it more that's with my husband too because after this i'm going to show something that he got me and this is the other piece of jewelry that she gave me or oh you can't really see that much of the detail on it I might give it to the Fae if they want it, because I do have an altar for them, and I gave one of the necklaces that she gave me to them. So, since I'm talking about the Fae, I did get this tree for them. I do have another tree that I got for them. This is from Joanne Fabrics. Um, and right behind me, or right behind the camera is their tree that I'm making. It's a lamp tree. So my husband gifted me this ring. It's Peridot, which is his birthstone. He's a Leo. And just to say that this is um, a set that I'm wearing right now. So this is a butterfly set that I'm wearing because I was proposed to up north in the winter and I came down here, my body's adjusting to the um, southern weather. We're going to be moving back, back up. I've said this for the last couple of videos, but it's, it's going to be soon. So this is... Well, I'm wearing it because it's more comfortable with my fingers expanding from the heat. So I did get a ring that I thought I would want to pair with this one, but the legs are longer than I thought they were going to be. I love this ring, so I'm wearing it on my thumb. It's a fairy ring. So it's kind of a play on words, but it's a fairy ring and it fits on this finger too. So I'll switch it up from time to time, but I really love this one and I love the ring that he got me. So I got a tarot bag or a deck bag from Target. This was in the 
section in the beginning with the discounted items. This doesn't fit regular sized tarot decks or the standard sized tarot decks that you would see, but I do have some small ones. So it fits the I Am Power deck perfectly. Right now my husband has it, so that's this one. I don't have tarot decks for this video. I'm trying not to get decks for my collection that I only use once in a while because I mainly use fairy decks or uh, earthy shamanic type of decks. So anything else I don't think I'll purchase as much or I'll look or into it or wait before purchasing it because I have a lot in my collection. So my time is going. Um, my mom got me tank tops. I'm wearing one of the tank tops. I don't think I'm going to finish this video. Uh, I'll have to put videos together, but she got me tank tops so this is a navy blue doesn't show up like that though black and green and gray i also went to the crystal shop. I call it that because it mainly sells crystals. I got a hidden knife and I got a digital scale. I thought that this would come in handy for when I'm weighing out my herbs. Um, just mainly medicinal so you can change it to ounces and you can set it back to zero there's a warranty on this too which is nice sorry that was all random um I'm going to have to upload this and then come back to the video so you don't see but I'm going to be right back so I have a couple more things I'm sorry that this video is random I was thinking as I was uploading if I should redo this video because it's jumbled up but um that was after I put the stuff away and started opening the things that I showed you. So hopefully it's not too busy. Um, I got this at Joan Fabrics. It's a moon pendant. I also got Remember Your Roots too. And this was on sale for five dollars. It was originally ten. I wanted to put this in the witchy room, but I don't know if, if I'm going to hang it now because we're moving. So I'll give it some time, but I might put it with the other decor that I have because I stock up on decor because I feel like eventually I'm gonna put them up once I get settled in my home home because after I got married I we knew that we weren't going to stay here longer than this year so we're giving it time and that's that. So, the last 
thing that I have that my parents got for me is the nail polish that I'm wearing right now. So this is in Jade Jump. And it's a nice aquatic color, which is nice for this time of the year. And it was funny, my husband was making a joke about my scarf. You're, you, you just made this and now it's, it's spring. So I do really like making stuff for the colder seasons for myself or um, having clothes for the colder season. So I did go to Target at some point. So this was a while ago and I did get the yoga deck. This isn't really witchy, but I like stuff in deck form. They're kind of like flashcards too, which is another reason why I like decks, not like Tara's not really like that but they have different positions and aside from that they have extra cards so it's nice to pull out a card and read about the benefits and how it should be like when you're doing the position. It's a smooth material, smooth and soft. And then I also got this book in the under $5 section or the disc um, bargain section in Target. So this was $5 and it's 365 nighttime meditations for deep tranquil sleep all year long. So you can look up the day where you can randomly choose one and you can think about that before you fall asleep. So there's a lot of pictures of moons in here, which is peaceful and whales. Whales are one of my spirit animals, one of my main ones. And then the last thing that I'm showing in this video is this deck. So this is the Amy Brown Fairy Wisdom deck. I got this for $10. So, it wasn't expensive. This came out a while ago too, 2005. Where they considered it divination and new consciousness. consciousness because they change it up every so often. But I did feel a connection to this fairy deck. Because I don't have connections to all the fairy decks, but this one spoke to me. It feels watery. I am going to make a case for the deck itself, and although the, the book is, I like the book. Some people may not like it, depending on how you prefer your writing to be, but um, I think it's the type of writing that I connect to. So it was made with uh, Amy Brown's mother too, I believe, 
and you get that when you're going through the cards and it definitely feels like a complete deck and more of the life where it's uh, energy where it's made and mother and grown where you've grown and you've learned so they've been going on and off with it until they finished it so this is the deck and the book is a nice size sorry for being jumpy again but it also has this and it has a picture I like the plant associations trillium is the plant there's the dandelion dandelion opium and uh, a lot of dragons in here too hummingbirds one of my other animal totems I have specific ones like the box um, I'm not really gonna go into all of them but my dra my husband loves dragons so it feels like it's our deck in a way so these are the cards but I like the types of cards that are in here they're simple but I can understand where they're coming from so birth of magic water element painting poppies tattooed because you don't usually see those types of cards in the deck in a deck, discovery, attitude, something wild, autumn, and home sweet home. So that was actually the second to last thing. I did order postcards, not many, but I actually have one hanging and this is off of a, sorry, that's my husky, one of my huskies. Off of the website for Karen Marie Monning for the Beaver series specifically because she has the Highlander series but I didn't read that one and I really loved one of the quotes so it's fire to my ice frost to my flame forever I got two of the shiny ones and then one of the matte ones because I figured I didn't I wouldn't uh, like it as much so that's this the concubine and the unseelie king I love when the authors have merchandise for their stories so Emma Ham has them too and I did get signed books from her and she also has boxes. I'm not at one of the books yet so I'm not going to look too deep into the most recent ones that she has for boxes but when I get to that point I'll definitely look at it. So thank you guys so much for sticking with this video i know it's really random and um thank you so much and i'll see you in another video bye